The Chevy of the Stag and the Black Black Oil by John McGrath is all about the exploitation of the people of the Highlands. Over one long act, actors perform many parts in a play that is sometimes like panto, but always political. It's a story that has a beginning, a middle, but as yet, no end. The beginning? Graphic and detailed accounts of the Highland clearances, when the people were replaced with Cheviot sheep, which earned the landowners much more money than rent. Patrick Seller and James Loch, both factors for the Duke of Sutherland, moved people off the land to the coast where they must worship industry or starve. It was always the women who fought back. The play has many horrific descriptions of brutality, such as... The police struck. The battens tore away part of her scalp. Her long hair, clotted with blood, could be seen across the land. Homes were burned. People killed or left to starve. But there were victories too. Patrick Seller was charged for burning a home with an old woman inside, but never convicted. Not guilty. Many Highlanders left Scotland altogether. Some being used by the Hudson's Bay Company in Canada to settle the land there. They came into conflict with the local tribes. The 19th century sees the remaining Highlanders fight for their rights, with some victories notably in Sky, when Lord Macdonald's tenants refused to work or pay rent, and the police couldn't stop them. Then enter Queen Victoria. These are the mountains.